Morning YouTube. What I had uh, last night was a chap made a comment on my potbelly stove, but very simply, uh, he raised what I think is a really good idea. You know, he said, if I was to modify the stove and move the shelf up towards the uh, middle of the stove, that I could light the fire in the middle and use the bottom of the stove as an oven. So what I'm going to do today is to build a shelf and uh, modify the stove slightly. I've already uh, started by drilling some extra holes around the uh, middle of the stove um, where the new fire level is going to be and uh, I've bought this baking tray which uh, is going to be the shelf and it's going to be mounted in the stove uh, about um, about a third from the top, somewhere there. So that's the new level at which I'm going to light the fire. And then everything underneath it is going to be an oven. And uh, I'm going to do a little experiment. So I'm going to bake two loaves out of one of my uh, bread mixes that I've dragged out of my uh, preps. And uh, split it in two, bake half of it in the potbelly stove and the other half in the oven. And then compare the two uh, loaves that we get. As you see the stove, it says I've dragged it out of the trailer and I, when I pack it away, I always have the first um, firewood for the stove to actually light the stove packed in the stove. So all I've got to do is drag it out of the trailer no matter where I am, I'm not going to have to start running around foraging for firewood straight away. I can get the stove on and then I can start looking for my next load of firewood. So this is the wood that's uh, always in the stove. That's what I'm going to bake the bread with. Back soon. Okay, because I've never done it before, it's a matter of working out how uh, the, the best method of lighting the stove, but it was a little bit of a uh, palaver, but I think we've uh, got there in the end. You know, there's a uh, about a eight to ten inch space there for the fire and there's the space for the oven below so um, the other thing that I've uh, just discovered is that you can uh, feed the fire above the shelf by pushing pieces of wood into the hole for the chimney so um, seems to be uh, taking hold so let's get it outside now set it up and let's get this dough made let's see if we can put a loaf in the potbelly stove a loaf in the oven and let's see what they come out like back soon all i did with my timber is i just processed it the same way i would have done in the field so i've cut it down into uh, pieces long enough to go into the potbelly stove and then just battened it down with my craft knife and all i'm doing is popping those little pieces of wood into the uh, potbelly stove uh, the bottom of the stove started to get hot now, so it won't be long till we put the bread in. Back soon. Okay, YouTube, this is my bread mix out of my preps. What we had in here was four cups of flour, two dessert spoons of powdered milk, two dis dessert spoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt and we've got a packet of uh, yeast now we're going to mix it up make our bread mix and uh, and what we're going to do is put it in two baking tins so one's going to go in the pot by the stove and the other one's going to go in the oven and we're going to make a couple of loaves see how they turn out back soon Okay YouTube, there's our dough and uh, all I'm going to do is uh, cut it in half. I've got two um, uh, baking tins, loaf, small loaf tins, I've got half, half in one, half in the other. One goes in the pot belly stove, the other one goes in the oven. Let's see what sort of bread we end up with.
Okay, back soon. Okay, YouTube, let's uh, let's have a fried egg sandwich while we're waiting for this uh, bread to rise and this um, potbelly stove to warm up. Had to change hands for this one. Let's have a nice fried egg sandwich while we're waiting. Okay YouTube, I've left the um, bread to rise uh, for about an hour now and um, pretty much doubled in size as you can see it's uh, almost filling the baking tins. Now one goes in the oven and one goes in the pot belly stove. I'm going to put the big one in the uh, oven and the other one will go in the pot belly stove. One in the oven, 25 minutes, pot belly stove, hour plus. But um, let's uh, have a look and uh, See what they look like when they come out. Back soon. Okay, let's shut the door. I reckon about an hour. I've just put this um, baking tray in the bottom of the stove on a couple of bits of wood just so that we get a bit of heat underneath it. If you put it straight onto the bottom of the stove all that happens is the bottom of the bread burns. So uh, let's see how we get on. The other thing I've had to do with the stove is uh, I've had to bring it into the garage because uh, it started raining. It wasn't a very fair test. Obviously the rain is cooling the stove down all the time so um what i've done is i've just popped it inside the garage but i'll leave it there for a little while see how we get on with it get the bread out and see if it was worth uh, doing back soon okay youtube just got the uh, little loaf out of the oven still uh, quite hot sounds nice and hollow that's got a bit of a uh, crust to it normally if you let the bread rise for a good hour, you get a thin crust. That's the only that's the only thing about um, baking your own bread that sometimes you can get quite a thick crust on it if you overcook it or you don't allow it to rise to uh, a good size before you bake it. The uh, outer crust can be quite uh, quite thick. But that's the one out of the oven. Let's see what the potbelly stove's doing. Still raining. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. Looks like it's uh, pretty much done. Let's drag this one out, we'll take it inside, compare the two of them. Okay, so that one's the uh, loaf out of the pot belly stove. Let's get it out of the tin and uh, see what they look like. The loaf at the front is the one that came out of the potbelly stove. It's a great loaf, nice and soft, smells gorgeous. You know, as soon as I put a knife through the one that we did in the oven, the family were here like locusts and everybody had a piece. So um, no complaints at this end. The modifications to the potbelly stove worked and they worked well. Uh, will I use it long term? I'm not sure. I think it's something that I'll have to play with. Lighting the fire in the top of the potbelly stove was just a little bit awkward for me. But, um, but it worked, it was a great suggestion, we've tried it out. Any comments, love to hear what you think. Back soon.